Well, hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. I hope you've all been doing well and taking care of yourselves. So today's reading is going to be geared towards long distance connections. Um, we're going to be asking, will you have an opportunity to meet your long distance partner or person of interest face to face? Or will you have a chance to meet them again if you've already met before? Uh, and approximately when that might happen for you. So we have three piles of cards to choose from. This is just going to be a quick read. Um, one, two, three. For pile number one, we have Citrine. For pile two, we've got some Calcite here. And pile number three is Selenite. So I'll give you guys a minute to make your choices. The timestamps will be in the comment section below. Uh, so if you already know which one you want to go with, you can skip ahead. As usual, all of my links will be in the description box. So if you're interested, you can check those out. Follow me on Instagram at Serpentine Daughter. Um, I do offer private readings. You can order through my website or my Etsy store. All of those links will be down there. So. Um, if you haven't made your choice yet, go ahead and pause the video because we're going to just jump right into this. Um, so, pile number one. Will you have an opportunity to meet your person or meet them again if you've already met before? Let's see what cards you guys have. First of all, we have the Knight of Wands. We have Strength. And we have the full. So some pretty promising cards here right away. And let's see what else we have in the near future. Stay optimistic about your love life. And for your timing card, we have a leg up, which is number 34. Okay. So um, <laughs> immediately, this looks like a pretty clear yes answer to me, group one. Um, I mean, we have the Fool card here. This is associated with new beginnings, embarking on a new adventure. This is enthusiasm, optimism, hope for the future. Um, the Fool can also sometimes relate to travel. You can see he's got like his little pack of his belongings like slung over his shoulder and he's, he's going on a trip. He's going on an adventure. Um, the Knight of Wands is here as well. All knights relate to movement, action. Um, obviously, this can represent physical movement as well. Um, knights also relate to communication, messages coming through. Um, the Knight of Wands in particular is actually a little bit similar to the Fool card in the sense that, again, this gives us feelings of enthusiasm, excitement. Um, this is a very uh, passionate kind of energy, a very uh, victorious kind of energy. So I really, really feel that for you and whoever it is you're thinking of, there is a ton of potential for you guys to see each other face to face um, in the near future, <laughs> as this card is suggesting. Um, you know, the um, time is kind of, uh, time is fluid. And, you know, the phrase in the near future is kind of subjective. You know, what actually is soon? Everybody has different definitions of what soon is. Um, for you guys, I do feel with this card being here, a leg up, like I said, this is your timing card. This is number 34. Um, if we reduce that down, we get seven. And so I really feel for the majority of you who chose this pile, um, your meeting with your person is probably going to fall in the month of July, somewhere in the month of July, um, for the majority of you. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely see that happening for you guys. I mean, we also have Strength, another very promising card. This is courage, bravery, but it also relates to overcoming obstacles, overcoming setbacks. So, you know, if there have been obstacles to you guys meeting, getting to spend time together, then, you know, this is saying to me that 
whatever has been preventing this meeting is going to be remedied. You know, whatever has been holding the two of you back, blocking uh, your ability to come together, that's going to be overcome. And, you know, if you're watching this around the time that this is uploaded, um, <laughs> obviously, uh, current events are kind of inhibiting a lot of travel. Um, so this suggests to me that, you know, July, around that time, things are probably going to be loosening up by then, uh, restrictions. And um, if by chance you are not watching this around the time that it's uploaded, um, I would still say approximately two months from now is when you will be able to see this person that you're asking about. So, you know, two months is not really a long time uh, in the grand scheme of things. I know if you're waiting for something to happen, it can feel like forever, but, you know, stay optimistic. Keep your head up. You, I feel, have a lot to look forward to with this person. Um, I feel like when you guys do come together, it's going to be... I feel like it's going to be awesome. Like, the two of you are going to have such a good time together. And if you've never actually met before face-to-face, -face, um, and, you know, if, if you're feeling a little bit nervous about what, what to expect, uh, honestly, I, I feel like you guys are just going to click and it's going to be, you know, exactly the way it is when you're talking on the phone or over Skype or whatever. However it is you communicate, I feel like your interactions are going to be the same like it's it's not going to feel different to you it's not going to feel weird or awkward it's just going to feel comfortable and natural um and that's a really good thing so group number one yes 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 and um as far as timing goes like i said roughly two months from now so um i am gonna leave that there for you guys i hope that this resonated with you um, keep in mind, this is just a general reading, so take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. I am wishing you guys all the best, and I hope that I see you next time. Bye! Okay, group number two. Let's find out if you will have a chance to meet your person, uh, your long-distance person of interest, and when. So your tarot cards, we have Strength, we have Four of Knives reversed, and the Star also reversed. Okay. So, okay, let me, let's, let's look at your Oracle cards before I start talking about anything. Um, the first Oracle card we have is It's Up To You. Uh, obviously this card is all about choice, free will. Um, we also have Reconciliation, and your timing card is Observer, which is number 49. Okay, so this is kind of interesting, you guys. I feel like whoever it is you're thinking about, um, I, I get the sense that there's been some conflict, perhaps, <laughs> some issues within this connection. Um, and I actually feel like... For some of you, you may not even be in contact with this person right now, and you're wondering, will you ever have an opportunity to actually, like, see this person again? Um, or see this person for the first time, you know, whatever the case may be. Um, but I, I say, you know, I, I get this energy of conflict and, and tension because, you know, we have this reconciliation card, which implies there's something that... Um, you may need to reconcile about. We also have the star reversed, which in the reverse position, this card can indicate um, a situation that may be looking very bleak, kind of hopeless. Uh, a lot of times it is a message that things are not as hopeless as they might appear to be in the moment. So this is generally uh, a fairly promising energy, um, but, you know, it does suggest to me that the current energy of the situation may not be that great. Uh, we also have here the Four of Knives reversed. Um, this is, uh, in, you know, more traditional decks, this is the Four of Swords. So this card is about rest, reflection, contemplation. It's a very inactive energy. 
Um, in the reverse position, a lot of times it, um, the energy of this card is kind of restless. It's like a desire to take some sort of action um, or make a particular move after a period of rest and contemplation. Um, so I get the sense that you know, like I mentioned, you and this person may not actually be in contact with each other right now. And I say that because of this Four of Knives. You know, I I, I, get, I just get the impression that this connection may have been put on pause. It may be on pause for the time being. Um, but the Strength card, this is about overcoming obstacles, facing adversity head on. Um working through setbacks and, you know, endurance, perseverance, persistence. Um, I do feel that there is hope for this connection that you're asking about um, because strength is here, because the reconciliation card is here. Um, it seems to me like there is potential for the two of you to work things out. And when that happens, I feel like you will have the choice. You will have, you know, you'll you'll be you'll have to make that decision. Obviously, at the end of the day, I mean, for everybody, it's ultimately uh, up to the two of you whether this meeting happens. But um, I, I do feel like the two of you are gonna have that chance to, you know, come together, kind of work things out, get onto the same page, and at that point. Um, you may have an opportunity to actually meet up face-to-face, -face, see each other, spend time together. Um, <clears throat> but I think for a lot of you, this reconciliation has to happen first. Um, this doesn't feel like something where, you know, the two of you might randomly bump into each other and a reconciliation could you know, blossom from there. I feel like the reconciliation has to happen first in order for this meeting to occur. Okay, there has to be some conversations happening. Um, but I, yeah, I get the sense that a lot of you may be feeling really uncertain about what's going on right now. Really um, kind of, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Some of you, I feel, are, are looking at this kind of pessimistically, like you're not really expecting anything good to come of this. You're not really expecting to reconcile with this person. But just know it is a possibility. Um, you know, again, that strength card, this reconciliation card, these are promising cards. And the star, like I mentioned already, um, it's a message that things are not as hopeless as they seem. Now, this, like I said, is your timing card. This is number 49. Um, actually, the observer in general also relates to potential and opportunity. Um, a lot of times it's about, like, you are not limited by just what you can see in front of you. You know what I'm saying? Um, there are other possibilities, other other opportunities out there waiting for you that you just haven't discovered yet, um, that just haven't come to you yet. Um, but anyway, 49, we can reduce this down to 13 and then 4. Um, I feel like for the majority of you, this would happen about four months from now. So if you're watching this around the time that this is uploaded, that would be September, I think. Um, yeah, September. So, you know, this is just based on the collective energy. This is where you know, that, uh, that energy is falling for the majority of you uh, somewhere in the month of September, possibly August, possibly October for others of you. Um, but yeah, somewhere in that general time frame. So, um, yeah, group two, this is looking like probably a yes, but I can't say that definitively. Okay, because again, it's all dependent on this reconciliation, how, you know, open you are to the idea of 
compromise and you know opening up and 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 trying to work things out and i think that reconciliation may take some time which could be why you know this this meeting is not going to occur for several months okay so um group two i'm gonna leave it at that i hope that this resonated with you i hope this was helpful um, this is just a general reading, so take what applies to your situation and leave the rest behind. If something doesn't fit, don't try to make it fit. Um, if it doesn't resonate with you, then, you know, the, the message was not meant for you. So, thank you guys for joining me. I hope I see you next time. Bye! And lastly is group three, the Selenite group. So group three, let's find out if you will see your long distance partner or person face to face. So your tarot cards, we have 10 of pentacles, six of cups reversed, and the seven of pentacles. Your oracle cards, we've got your ready, attraction, and building blocks. Okay, so um, right away I have to say that this is a pretty, pretty promising energy that I'm getting here. Um, the Ten of Pentacles, this relates to stability, security. Um, tens in general are associated with completion, wish fulfillment, um, you know, accomplishing something that you've been working towards. And um, the Seven of Pentacles, this is usually about long-term investments, you know, putting effort into something, putting the work into something, something so that, you know, later down the road, you can reap the rewards. Um, the Six of Cups, in general, this is, uh, this is associated with memories, nostalgia, the past. It is... Uh, I, I personally relate this card a lot to, you know, unconditional love, innocence, childhood. Um, in the reverse position, this card can be about letting go of the past, releasing the past, moving forward into the future. Um, this card, you're ready. This is kind of, kind of a straightforward card. Um, this is definitely implying to me that... More than likely, I, I feel you will have an opportunity to see this person face to face. Um, the attraction card, this says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Um, in this particular context, this is really talking to me about like manifestation, manifesting opportunities. Um, and also like literally, literally like attracting, creating, what you want in your life so in this case if you are if you're hoping to you know have a chance to see this person um face to face then this is suggesting to me that you are either you know in in the process now of of manifesting and attracting that opportunity or you will manifest and attract that opportunity with time uh, also, building blocks. This card is about, actually, it's kind of similar to the Seven of Pentacles in the sense that this is, you know, it's it's about slow but steady progress towards a particular goal. Um, it's like building something up. And um, so I'm, I'm inclined to say that the answer to this for you guys is yes. Um, I do feel that you will have a chance to see this person as far as timing is concerned, um, this is your timing card. Building blocks here, this is number 28, uh, which we can reduce to 10. I feel like, I'm feeling October as a significant month for a lot of you guys. Or if you're not watching this around the time that it was uploaded, then I would say five to six months from now would be significant. 
um, you know, these two pentacles cards and also the building blocks card, you know, these are pretty slow moving energies. It's, it's slow, but gradual energy, um, slow, but gradual movement. So, um, while I do see that this is possible, there's a lot of potential for this meeting to happen. I also feel like it's probably going to take time. Uh, money could actually be an issue for a lot of you uh, because pentacles do relate to uh, material things, tangible things such as finances and you know career situations, stuff like that, resources. Um, so that could be an obstacle for some of you. Um, for others of you, I mean, I, I feel like a lot of you guys, most of you who chose this pile are I like mentally, emotionally so ready to spend time with this person. Um, and you've been ready. And I feel for a lot of you, your person that you're thinking about they may be a little bit anxious about it. I feel like I feel like somebody in this equation is like really just just ready for this to happen, and the other person is kind of nervous about it. Um, so that could be you, or it could be them who's nervous. It you know take it how it resonates with you. Um, but yeah, I, I I feel like one person is is pretty anxious and and kind of just, just nervous about it. Um, you know are we going to get along? You know, what are we going to do? What's it going to be like? How is this person actually going to feel about me when we, uh, when we see each other face to face, you know, that kind of thing. Um, and so that could also be a contributing factor to, you know, what's, what's holding this back in addition to the resource issue that I mentioned. Um, <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you are, gonna have to just kind of work with this person on building your relationship up further, strengthening your connection to each other, um, so that whoever it is who's anxious about this meeting will start to feel more comfortable with the idea, and uh, so that when the time comes where it becomes possible to see each other, you both are on the same page and you both feel ready. Does that make sense? Um, so yeah, like I said, I, I want to say about five to six months from now, approximately for the majority of you, that's, that's where this collective energy is kind of falling. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that guys. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. I hope this resonated with you. I hope it was interesting. Um, this is just a general reading, so if something doesn't fit into your situation, don't try to make it fit. Take what applies to you and leave the rest behind. Thank you again for joining me today. I hope I see you next time, guys. Bye!